Hello Virgo. Hello everybody. I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck, Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. So I have Libra's Queen of Swords and Gemini's Lover's Reverse. Lover's Reverse can be a fight, a breakup, an ending. It used to be called the choice and it also can mean not making the choice. Why do I feel like look at the look at this Libra card, this Queen of Swords. Look how from a safe distance from her home, she's looking back, almost looks like she's looking backwards in the camera. But she's looking, and it's like she's not focusing on the stars around her or the birds being free. She's something's capturing this person's attention, but she's still tethered to where she's currently at. But not maybe not quite ready to leave something now this could be a work read honestly i see a three of pentacles there so maybe some of you are looking for something better but on the down low full reverse three of pentacles or some of you let's see what's going on here virgo because i'm getting all kinds of feels on this to be honest sun moon rising venus virgo if you are a virgo know a virgo feel like being a virgo virgos i'm glad you're here you could be a Virgo and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Virgo. It could resonate as the main story and Virgo can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Virgo or for a Virgo. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages for my lovely Virgos. There it is. Two cards just flipped. Magician reverse in the eight of wands. Now remember the queen of swords. She was up on that hot air balloon, but she was still tethered. And look at the eight of wands again up in the sky clear thinking i'm ready for this new beginning let's do this but it fell out with a magician reverse it feels like honestly and here's an eight of ace of pentacles and the two of swords reverse i honestly feel like there's a virgo tired of looking back you just want something new you're finally ready you're like really ready in the past, you could say you're ready, but there was a part of you still looking backwards. But now I feel like you're really ready. You're just, you've been craving something new, but you could have been procrastinating, do, you know, until the time was right. And I feel like now's the time. You get lovers reverse and the ace of pentacles again. All right. Reason for the reading. Reason for the read. I feel like this is getting you out of a not so great situation. A new idea, a burst of energy. And you're just running with it. You're finally ready to run with it for this change. What's the reason for the reading? The Empress. Ooh, ooh la la. What's, and I, you know what's, I say this. I even said this twice today. The Empress is the feminine energy to the magician. And you have them both here. Masculine, feminine. Reason for the reading, you're finally getting out of your own way to grab whatever it is you need to do or what you want. Empress energy is feeling really confident, feeling secure, secure enough to really put yourself out there. And you're not chasing dreams, you're not chasing people, but you're using your inner magician to figure out, you know, it's like I'm getting like work smarter, not harder energy. You're figuring out maybe how to make a buck easier and quicker. Um, how to make a buck last. I just feel like, and when it comes to love, it's the same. I just feel like this burst of confidence coming from you. And look, three cards are showing, trying to make a decision, but she already holds the world in her hand, but she is still tethered to an old four of wands and a page of pentacles reverse. And then there's the world below that. Interesting, she holds the world and then there's the world. First, you're holding an idea and then you're going to turn this idea into a reality and the idea becomes you. It almost feels like your next step. Below that, Ace of Wands, an idea, turning an idea into reality. Ace of Wands and an Ace of Pentacles. It's the beginning of a Ten of Pentacles. I'm really kind of getting a job read with this. What's in the past? Some of you might start your own business. What's in the past? Five of Cups reverse. You healed from that last breakup, whatever, whoever hurt you. And then I feel like there was this time of <laughs> like a two of swords. You've been in, in between for a long time. Now you're ready to fly. It's like you're ready to fly, Virgo. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? 
Emperor. Oh my gosh. And the Ten of Swords. I, this is some great energy, Virgo. You're no longer holding on to the pain of the past. This, I feel like, you know what this feels like? The person who always talks about what they could have been or what they could have done. Holding the, the flower back here, but enduring the pain, enduring the reason. It's, it's the past. That's why I can't do this. I wasn't born in a certain kind of situation or I'm 52. I mean, that's something 18 year olds can do. I feel like you're no, there's no more excuses because I feel like this excuses is what kept you stagnant and the stagnation is what kept you, some of you could have been even depressed and the depression kept you stuck. That's what it feels like this, this domino effect of hell. And you are, I feel like you've already healed back here. And I feel like you're just, something's coming across you and you're, you're running with it. And you're not running Virgo. You're flying with it, with the Zeta wands. You're not letting an opportunity pass you by. You don't want this to become another story. You're going to tell somebody of what you could have done. You're going to say, man, remember when I did that? And let me help you. Emperor, Empress on your mind is clear thinking. And the eight of wands is also clear thinking because the wands are usually depicted up in air. So I feel like finally you cleared enough energy within yourself to allow yourself the freedom to really make a dream a reality. You're not chasing a dream. You're turning into a reality. Ten of swords being upright saying you're enough's enough. You're no longer procrastinating, overthinking. Your masculine energy is in drive. Okay, near future. Near future for the Virgos. Near future for the Virgos here. Devil reverse. I knew it was going to be a major. I wish I said it. You guys would have been impressed. A major here. A major, a major, a major, and a major. This is a big moment. This is the moment where... I feel like some of you have been in a certain type of lifestyle or living a certain type of way and trying to make the best of it. Trying, I get self defecation, deprecation, <laughs> defecation. It could be that too, Virgo. <sighs> I need to just shut up. Anyway, devil reverse here. Two of Cups reverse. Capricorn season ended and we are in Aquarius season. And with that Aquarius season came this burst of energy. Devil reverse feels like it's within you. You're breaking free from the shackles that once kept you back. And it feels like it's been within the self, which is very powerful. Okay, I feel like the devil upright is what kept this magician reverse. And near future is letting the pain of the past go and grabbing what could be, honestly, and turning that into a reality. Magician reverse center of the reading for Virgo. If you're going to start a business, it's going to be successful. I don't usually make like, what's, I can't, when I do tarot, I can't think of words because I'm in intuition and not thinking, but concise, like if it falls out of my mouth, I feel it's an intuitive feeling that if you are starting a business, by the way, we have a full moon coming up. Was it the 29th? I don't even know what day we're on right now. 25th. We on the 25th. Um, or the 24th. So within a week, within five days, we have this full moon. Full moons are an, a, an energy leaving our life. New moons is usually in the, you know, historically, a lot of people would start businesses, but I feel that's how strong you are. You're, you're not even letting superstitious dictate when you are taking control. You're taking control of your life right now, today. This is where it begins. I want that 10 of pentacles. I want that house on the ocean. I want a yard. I want to get out of an apartment. I want it to be this year. I don't want January, 2025 being just like January, 2024. There is this powerhouse energy within you guys, the Virgos, at least I'm reading for that's saying, I'm, I don't want to even get into connections because that was just procrastinating. That was just buying my time. What I really want is me. I, that's what I'm feeling. Magician reverse center of the reading. You and Gemini. Magician reverse center of the reading. Six of wands reverse. And I feel like some of you thought you'd be further along by now. You thought your life would have looked different. But you know what? You're, you're on this. You're on the right side of the dirt. You know what I mean? You're not on the other side of the dirt. So you, you have time to change it. it. 
and I and you know it six of wands reverse and the magician reverse and the wheel of fortune that's right you're moving on you might be quitting a job and starting a business you might be starting a business and holding on to that job until something better comes along but you're not talking about it that's the deal that's what it is influencing energy eight of wands there it is look at the world and you the hermit and two more majors coming out the hermit holds a star in his lantern but he is looking towards that sun and i feel like so, so much time has been looking at what you want but not enough doing but let's see this fell out yeah you nine of pentacles reverse i feel like it could be financially tight for you guys you don't have the emotional support system and i feel like it's not that god wants to beat you up i feel like the universe says you know what i had to make you so tired of what you've been doing for you to really get into the magic that i initially created you with it's a sin to let this go to waste and i feel like you guys are revving up this energy you got the eight of cups and you got the hermit and the chariot below the hermit six of swords reverse a lot of thinking and an ace of cups yeah i just man this is the moment where you create your ten of pentacles this is the first step of it empress reason for the reading and i feel a lot of money there Re empress reason for the reading okay every reading i'm done two cards go flying or one card eight of swords i'm seeing the other card is face down let me get it virgo let me get it here. let me get it it's a judgment reverse and an eight of swords okay those two go like bffs together you've always had the mad you've always had the ability to have this but you know it's interesting because the magician being reversed and the empress being upright it's still within you but your masculine magician needs to be upright. Now, the magician is half you and half Gemini. I feel like the reason why the magician is reversed is because this Gemini energy is taken over. It's too much overthinking. It's too much worry. It's, it's feeling stuck in situations. Are you really, really stuck in? Or are we trying to tell ourselves we're stuck because we don't have to make that effort? Because we do have a judgment reverse, which is saying, hey, Tara Lady, I understand what you're saying, but you don't know my situation. I can't. There's a lot of cans. You're going from cans to cans, by the way. But that's a judgment reverse is realizing it, but still unable to do anything about it. And the, what's attached to it is being stuck in one's head. She's got this blindfold on, but yet she's still depending on her eyes to see. And what you need to do is depend on your intuition, what it's telling you right now. What are you feeling? Do you feel this revving of energy? Do you feel like something big is going to happen this year? Do you feel like a change is coming? There's too much depending on our sight and not enough on our heart, not even our heart, but our intuition. Um, so two of swords reverse where this came out of is making a decision to a swords reverse to literally take that blindfold off the next card you got Libra and Gemini. So this is upright. The knight of swords have the blindfold on. But this was actually reverse. So with this being reverse, making a decision, because twos make a decision to get out of one's head, get out of this moon energy and make a choice to move forward. That's and take the blindfold off and look at what is it that you want? What do you want this year to look like? Do you want to be married at some point? Do you want to run your business? Do you want a healthy bank account? Do you want all of the above? Do you want to move out of your parents and have an apartment? Do you want to move from an apartment and have a house? Do you want to pay off your house? What are these goals? I feel like you're taking off that blindfold and saying, this is what I want and this is what I'm getting. And I'm not getting in the next year, I'm getting it this year. And that is a magician energy. That is a masculine drive. The emperor is on your mind. And that is you taking control of your life. So we got the five of swords reverse, or I'm sorry, five of cups reverse in the past. Yep, and the Knight of Wands. This is the drive. But some of you had the drive, but you didn't know what to do with it. You just felt the energy, but you didn't know where to go next. And also, I am getting a love read here, believe it or not. You got a Five of Cups reverse, which is a Two of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So even back here, if this is a love read for you, in the near past, I feel like there was this connection. It's It's, it's mutual. You got the eight of wands magician reverse ten of swords and the emperor i just want to real quick go over to the love people here because not everyone it's going to resonate as like 
a purpose or a job or a money read. Emperor and a Ten of Swords. Devil reverse. I still feel like you're holding yourself back from a connection, Virgo. I feel like some, some, there's somebody you want, but you could have been making reasons why you can't have them. Or they, you. It could be reversed. But the, be, the Ten of Swords being upright is saying enough's enough. I need to get, I need to make, do concise action. I need to change the situation right now because this is the person I want. Double reverse. All right. Emperor and the Ten of Swords on your mind. Emperor and the Ten of Swords on Virgo's mind. And the Empress again. True pair going on. Somebody's done making excuses. They're ready for their happily ever after. Devil reverse in the near future, Virgo. And the Page of Pentacles. Hallelujah. I love it. The Hermit. Where's that Hermit card? Where is it? Maybe I didn't pull it out. I thought I did. I thought uh, it must have been on a bookend, what I call bookends. So Devil reverse, Page of Pentacles. It looks a lot like that. The Hermit was on a mountaintop looking far he was still in the moon but he was looking at a sun far away now the moon is behind him the sun is even closer i feel like you, somebody is finally allowing this new beginning to happen somebody's finally putting into action what they what they really want devil reverse in the page of pentacles near future page of wands eight of wands and the justice reverse justice reverse here you got the lovers coming in I feel like you're making the choice to not think about what it is you want in that cup, but actually doing something about it because you got the lovers making the choice to really get up and, and do something about it. But man, this is great. You got a page of pentacles and a page of wands, eight of wands, and you have an eight of wands here and the justice reverse. Some of you are going to right a wrong in your life. Something that you thought was supposed to happen 20 years ago, you're making it happen now. I feel like 20 years ago was just the prequel. You felt the energy. You felt there was a certain type of life you wanted to live. You just didn't have the means yet. You had to go through those life lessons. So don't, don't sit there and beat yourself up because it wasn't possible then or it would have happened then. It's happening now. I love it. I love this reading for you guys. All right, Virgos. Oh, Virgo's like, I wish I could see my reading. I Did I not move that down? I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so Virgos, have a great rest of your week and I will see you kids later. Take care.